Uh, hi, I'm John Parr. Um, John Rowley approached me a couple of weeks ago when uh, I was shooting a film uh, locally, a film about disablement, and I guess he thought maybe he should uh, ask me to help. I'm out of my depth, I'll be absolutely honest. Uh, when he asked me to speak about multiple sclerosis and how it affects people and mentally and physically, I felt out of my depth. I'm just a songwriter. I have empathy. Uh, I have a couple of uh, pretty big illnesses myself. So I know about those wee small hours of the morning when it's always at its worst, when we're always at our loneliest. Um, but I wanted to be positive. Uh, I've read about multiple sclerosis and realise it's such a roller coaster. And one day you're up, and then the next day you're really down. And in my own life, I I can only empathise with my own struggles that I've been through, trying to make my way with my career, trying to overcome my health issues when I have a deadline. Um, I can only say that, you know, we're all dealt a hand of cards and it's how we play them. And trying to be positive when your body is doing everything to stop you being positive. The impact that that has on your loved ones around you and, um, you know, you're just feeling crap and you're feeling um, hopeless. I just learned to take every day a day at a time and not look at the mountain, not look too far into the future and and just live for the day. Easy to say when you're walking about, running about, doing the normal stuff. But there have been days when I couldn't and had to. And um, the world is a beautiful place. There are wonderful things happening every day, despite what the news tells us and I just think when things are at their worst, we are at our best. And I think our families and our loved ones and our friends are at their best in these times. And um, we just have to make our way through. I, my buddy, my dear buddy, Jerry Ward, he's a quadriplegic. He was a fighter pilot, war hero, and had a freak accident. And the only way he moves so he can talk, but... He blows into a pipe to move the chair and yet every day he finds a way forward and he inspires me. And I, Google him, Google Jerry Ward, Fatty's Fun Runs. Have a look and see. I've been around disablement for a, more than half my life. I wrote St. Elmo's Fire about disablement, about a young boy who broke his back in a freak accident and wheeled around the world to raise money for spinal research. And he did it, and we did it. The song helped him raise 275 million for spinal research and build i -Cord. And within that, of course, is um, his spinal research. You know, at the very core of MS, you know, that what is it? Why is it not communicating? Why is the brain not communicating down to the rest of it? To your arms and your legs and clouding your head so, as I say, I'm just little old me making my way, trying to do a bit of good. And when John asked me to uh, say a few words, I, I just wanted to, I wanted to do my bit. Um, very difficult for me and, of course, even more difficult for you. But I just think if people out there considered something outside of themselves and saw the plight of others like yourselves, like people in chairs, like people with mental difficulties. I just think it would be a bit more of a soft landing, a bit more of a, a happy place. And um, so, yeah, I'm here. Anything I can do, fly the flag, try to help. I'm doing my bit. This is why I do what I do. God bless.